Hi, I welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in which I am going to discuss a design of experimental technique known as latent skate design. In the latent skate design technique, we have the we block two Nyssen factors simultaneously. It is given the name latent scale. So latent means these alphabets A, B, C, D, E. So over a factor of interest, the level of factor of interest has been represented by these alphabets. So it's the name given to this technique. I will solve question number 4.22 picked from design of design and analysis of experiments by Montgomery, in which we have the factor of interest is ingredients it has five different levels represented by a b c d e alphabets however in addition i have batches of new material as my first nisense factor and these are my second nisense factor let's take the data in the question and then we'll move towards the mini tab so here we can say batches first column we have five different batches we have five different days and we have five different ingredients Please keep in mind that latent scale design should always be a balanced. It is a 5 cross 5 design. Each of three factors has five different levels. So first of all, write the names of the factors as well as response variable. Reaction time is my response variable. Now how we will input the values in the mini type sheet. So I have batch 1, day 1 and ingredient A. So A is, A is represented by 1. So let's write it. Batch 1, I have written there. Batch 1, ingredient it is also 1 and T is also 1. At this setting, we have re oh, reaction time is 8. So likewise, if you do like this, it, it will take a lot of time. So I am going to tell you a shortcut method. Look at this. We have at each level of the batch, we have 5 different observations at 5 different days. And it is going to repeat. So all of, for all of the batches. Let's do it in the shortcut way. So first of all, you will have to write a batch one for, we have five different batches, then we're going to do a for the, so let's drag this two till uh, 10. So let me drag it and then we will write three and so far we will drag it till uh, 15 and we will drag five till 25. So that likewise we have completed over column number one as i told you people that each of the batch has the data for five different days so like one two three four five enter them then take the copy and you can paste them for all of the batches so we have done with our second factor also now entering the ingredient is you can say a quite difficult and hectic thing Anyhow, for the first row, it is quite clear that A stands for 1, B2, and D3, uh, D4, C3, and E5. So let me enter 1, 2, 4, 3, 5. 1, 2, 4, 3, and 5. For the second row, enter 3, 5, 1, 4, 2. For the third row, 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. Now, a shortcut thing. That please always give attention to batches and the day and the ingredient will adjust itself. Likewise, one and two, like data is one and two is seven. I have completed the data for the first row, and then we can see that we can easily remember the whole data for the second row and we can write it without any problem. The data for the second row also has been completed. You can verify, let's verify this row nine, two, four, four. So when we go, it's row two, then four, uh, we have a column. And then there we have D. So D stands for also four. And the observation is three. Let's check there. We have three. So likewise, I suggest you people to enter the data of all the rows in the sequence without any hesitation because we have made the design with very care. If you have made any mistake in this design in the first three columns, then it will be quite hectic and miserable thing for you to enter the data for the response variable or reaction time in, the, in, in this case. I've completed the data. So now in order to perform the latent scale design analysis, go to STAT, then ANOVA, then GLM, General Linear Model, FIT General Linear Model, select the response variable, reaction time, then select all of the three factors there, 
batch day and ingredient and only click ok in order to see the results click on this window so you will see that we have three vectors batch ingredient and day all of them are uh, at five levels then or ANOVA results ANOVA told us that batch has an insignificant effect because its p-value is greater than 0 0.05 similarly day is also found to be insignificant and our third main variable or factor of interest ingredient is found to be a significant factor if you want to find that which of the ingredient level has is going to maximize the response variable eviction time then go to stat ANOVA one way here you have to again select the response the response time is reaction and now please only click the ingredient because we are mainly interested in the, in, in the ingredient and we apply the post hoc test using this comparison tab please click on Tuki as well as on the test check on this thing must please then go to graphs in order to satisfy the assumption so four in one i need whenever the ANOVA for a factor found to be significant then we apply a post hoc test to check that which of the two levels are significantly differ from each other so the ANOVA result told us that ingredient is a significant factor and graphically it has shown that maximum response addiction time has been obtained at the level three and the minimum has been obtained at level 5 so there is a maximum difference between these two levels this thing is also cleared numerically you can see there is a difference of uh, minus 5.60 this is the highest difference among these uh, all contrast so level 3 and level 5 has the highest difference and it you can see the p value of 535 uh, 5343 all of the contrast where the p-value is less than 0.05 there are found to be significant also you can see 4151 are significant also and if you want to see the results of Tuki's test and the graphical these were the numerical results and graphical results you can see that the 53 this observation has the maximum difference from this dotted vertical line that is equal to zero that both after contrast at the null hypothesis that the difference is equal to zero however when we have found the maximum difference of this contrast from the center or zero so thanks a lot for watching the video subscribe to my channel hit the like button if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section or you can whatsapp or email me thanks a lot bye